Then the South African Union of Students, meanwhile, has welcomed the decision by the Higher Education Department to re deregister those EDUCOR group of colleges. Now, namely, Damlin College and City Varsity for non-compliance. Uh, Sive Dlanjwa, spokesperson for the union, says while it is unfortunate for students, the move does serve to protect the credibility of the higher education system. It is absolutely uh, uh, rather almost a devastating time, uh, particularly for the students that had been registered in those institutions. And uh, uh, whilst obviously we, 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 we sympathize with them and, are, and will be working with the department to ensure that we're able to uh, you know, come up with mechanisms of recourse, uh, we, uh, to an extent, we also welcome the deregistration of these institutions because based on what we have heard, one from the students, but also from the reports from the department, it would appear that these institutions were no longer adhering to the regulations under which ensure that all institutions are registered and, they, and we must understand that the registration of institutions is directly related to the credibility of those institutions and subsequently their uh, 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 programs so as to ensure that whoever studies there is indeed certified that they have indeed uh, they were in a credible institution, they have credible qualifications. So the failure of these institutions under EDUCO to be able to comply Actually, in the long run, it means that students will now be engaged in institutions where their qualifications will be brought into question. So we welcome the deregistration of any institution that does not meet those minimum standards. We think it serves to protect the entire credibility and integrity of our education, of our higher education system.